crossing powder from ear to ear. Oh God, I can hear myself, hang on. Good morning, Lynn. How are we all this morning, everyone? Seriously, I have a big embossing powder problem here. That's okay. Should be right. You can't see it from here. How are we? How's our Sunday morning going? I hope you are all enjoying your morning wherever you are. Staying warm. Because I know it's a little chilly here in Radelaide at the moment. So for those of you who are joining me for the first time, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Natalie May and... Uh, as part of the Great International Craft Show online, I am doing daily demos and we have some fantastic specials going on at the moment on nataliemay.com.au. Uh, we have got today being Sunday, the 17th of the 7th of July. Um, we have got... 49 and market products on special at 15% off. We have paper rose products on special at 15% off and we have paper rose scrap effects, scrap effects products as well. So we've got lots of products on special for you. Some of our favorite companies that we're celebrating today. Um, plus we have a huge range of, oh, why have I frozen? My hand's still there. Why is my computer frozen? A huge range of other show specials on offer as well. So, oh, there we go. We're moving again. Um, and am I moving again? Yes, I am. Right. So we have got, yeah, heaps of, sorry, I'm just making sure that I can see what you're, you're seeing here this morning um, as well. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, so show specials. We have got... Uh, Bargains available from heat tools through to paint pens, through to papers, huge amount of products. Uh, what I thought I would do this morning is a little demonstration uh, with the new, brand new Dilutions shimmer paints that arrived in this week. So they have been bringing out range of colours uh, every few months and we have got here Fiery Sunset, Vibrant Turquoise, Vanilla Custard and Dirty Martini. So a nice little combination of colours that we have available. So I might just do a quick little swatch of those first, just to see what I'm dealing with. Bit of cardboard, hang on a moment. Let me get a little scrap of something here. Uh, and yeah, we'll have a bit of a play. So the Dilutions Shimmer Paints uh, are, are lovely and they have got a a really lovely sheen to them so i've opened these two uh, i haven't opened these two but let's have a go here let's oh that, that's a bit nice so that is the vibrant turquoise And then this one, oh, is the Fiery Sunset, which is a real beautiful red-orange. And that's got a gorgeous shimmer to it. Um, yeah, they're very nice. Let's have a look at this one. This one is Dirty Martini. I haven't taken this one out of the packaging, so just bear with me a jiffy. Oh, the sun's just come out here, so... I think my lighting conditions are going to change a bit throughout here. We've got showers, we've got wind, we've got... It's all happening here at the moment. <laughs> so I'll leave it open, Lou. It'll be fine. Oh. Did you take this? No, I haven't. No. That green is just beautiful. That's a really lovely uh, earthy green. And finally, we've got vanilla custard. Now, I didn't think this colour would be very interesting, but I suspect I'm going to be very wrong here. I'm just going to pop that back on there. Oh, you son of a gun. 
Oh, that's a really nice color. Okay, let me bring these up to camera and see if we can get some of that shimmer coming through. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So they are really, really nice colors. Uh, so we, I thought I'd do a little, another little art journal page. Um, as most of you know, I like to do an art journal page because it shows lots of fun, easy techniques that you can transfer over to card making, scrapbooking, um, journaling, anything at all. You can do heaps and heaps with it. So again today, I'm going to be using my Dina Wakely craft journal. I have been, I cracked this one open a few days ago and been having a bit of a play with it since. So these are a couple of other pages that I have done using uh, it, oh, the live, live Facebooks this weekend. Uh, and you can scroll back and see some of these tutorials at your leisure. Righty-o, let's, I'm just gonna get my little bulldog clip and I'm going to clip that page open. So the shimmer paints are really, really lovely and they have got a, a beautiful sheen to them and they do react a little bit differently as well. So I'm gonna show you how they react when we get to that bit. I've got a piece of my collage paper here. This is my hand-drawn stars and I'm going to tear some strips and I'm going today I'm going to do a bit of a technique that I have seen around the interwebs uh, seen a couple of my lovely friends do a very very similar thing and I'm going to have a crack at it myself the super talented uh, Claire Steed from the um, and I think I've said her surname wrong I'm sorry Claire Claire from the UK has done this technique. And then I saw um, our very own Neve Bailey from Tassie replicate it. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a go too. And I'm gonna show you how to do something like this, but I'm gonna put my twist on it by adding some collage paper. So I'm just getting some collage paper on here with uh, some gel medium and I've got some strips. So I'm just cutting some strips or tearing some strips of collage paper that I'm just going to overlap through the middle of my journal page. And as you can see, I'm gonna do a double journal page this time. I'm gonna take it across my page. Uh, Fiona's asking the question, is it, sorry, Florina's asking the question, am I going to be at the Melbourne Craft and Quilt Fair. No, darling, I won't be going to that this year. I don't have enough hours in the day and uh, <laughs> anymore. And there, it's, it's just too much for me to get all of our fantastic items, pack up the store and head over there. All right, so um, it's, it's just too much, sorry. Uh, so we, I'm gonna, I'm using, gel medium so gel medium is going to dry clear and it is an excellent adhesive so I am just doing some torn pieces across here so this is my own personal brand my own personal design um, you can get today as part of our online special you can get the scrap effects collage paper on special at 15% off and very very versatile product so i'm just gonna do a little bit more across here like so whoops a bit heavy-handed there so the tool that i'm using to put this down is my catalyst tool um, i like to use this because it puts on a really nice amount of gel medium instead of using a paintbrush which can quite often put on put it on a little bit heavy um, I like the idea of using the catalyst tool because it spreads it out a little bit more all right so I'm just going to pop that on here and then a piece there and that order to it so I'm just going to use a baby wipe just to take off any excess around here and I will dry that off. Now, gel medium being an awesome glue will also, if you leave your paintbrush 
or leave it on your catalyst tool. It works like an adhesive and it will stick everything together, okay? So just make sure that you clean your paintbrush when you are done. Good morning, Linda. How are you, my love? While I'm doing this, I'm just reading through some comments. Good morning, Robin. Hello, Jackie. Jackie. Hello, Kathy, Elizabeth. Alrighty. So just drying this off with my heat tool. So just to let you know, ladies um, and any gentlemen, uh, we here in Adelaide, our super studio here at Summerton Park, we will, we're open normally from 10 to 3, Monday to Friday, for you to come in and have a bit of a look and have a little bit of a shop. Um, we are a lovely little business in a side street, just a couple of minutes walk from the beach. And Wednesday, oh, sorry, Monday and Tuesday, we will be closed while we are packing your orders. If you have placed an order over the weekend, um, first and foremost, thank you very much for your support. But we will be packing your orders over the next couple of days. And we will, uh, if you are picking up your order here in Adelaide, it will be ready for collection from Wednesday. Okay, so not before then. Alrighty, so there we go, done. Rubbish. So that has gone on there, it's nice and dry. Now I've got these little chipboard textured people from Scrap Effects. So we have got some textured men and some textured women. I thought that I might use a textured men, textured man. So what we have got here when we open the packet is corrugated people. Couple of different corrugations. So we've got a thin corrugation here. Sorry, I just realized I was out of the shot. Thin corrugation, a little wider. We've got this one here. That is a slightly different texture again. A couple of different stances. Available, so they all look great. What am I gonna use? I might use Here's me overthinking it this morning. I'm gonna use this guy. And I'm going to use my shimmer paint to create, use this guy as a bit of a mask and move him across my page to, um, to add some different, uh, add some shadows to it, to the background. So I have got all of my other shimmer paints here. I've just put them in a little container. I don't even know where the container came from, but I've got them standing up in some sort of color order here. Uh, and I'm going to use these guys. So we've got some of the other colors that are available in the shimmer paints. I have crushed grape, funky fuchsia, bubblegum pink, calypso teal, London blue, polished jade and vibrant turquoise. So something I like to do is make sure that I'm using them. I've got them in some sort of order so that I can put them down in, you know, make them look nice, all right? Um, here on my mat, I've got a, a heat messy mat here. Um, just reading some comments. We could all do with a textured man. <laughs> Oh, Linda, it's a little early for comedy, babe. But yeah, you're totally right. Um, okay, I might start with purple and I'm just giving it a quick shake first. I'm going to use my blending tool here. Uh, just off camera, I have a pile of dirty sponges. They're seriously just dirty sponges. In fact, that's yesterday's dirty sponge. Let's get rid of that. And these have all just been washed. Is that one dirty? That's no, okay. They've just been washed and they're ready to use again. Okay, so I'm just gonna put down just a little purple and I'm going to use this guy, get some on here, and I'm going to dab all around like so, holding it in place, using it as a mask. 
So like I said, this is certainly not a, a new technique at all. Dina Wakeley is the master of doing something like this. She loves a good stencil, um, using her stencils as masks, I should say. And then the lovely Claire and then Neve Bailey have done something very similar. But what I love about this is I am using the shimmer paint. So it's going to give a really interesting finish on our page. All right. Ta -da. There we go. So now I'm going to do it again and I'm going to offset him. So we're going for a bit of a bit of a pride sort of situation here. Bit of color choice. So this color that I've got now is Funky Fuchsia. And I'm going to use the same sponge because I'm going to be lazy. So quite often, I mean, the, the best inspiration always comes from those around us. Now, there is no shame in seeing a picture on the internet and going, I wonder what would happen if I recreated this. This is where all our ideas can come from. Um, see something and go, oh, look, I, I'm, I'm sure I could do that with what I've got at home. Okay, so you can easily replicate what you see. So that's why I'm doing these, these tutorials for you, so that you can have a go at replicating these techniques. So what I am doing is just across the top here, I'm just going to take away any of these foam spots. I know my hand's in the way, I'm sorry, but I'm just brushing that out. Kind of cool. Um, I do want to use a bit of scrap paper and just sop up some of this. Just bear with me a moment while I grab some. So those of you who, who have uh, online shopped with me before, you know that when you get an online order, I do a little hand art, a little bit of artwork in there. So what I have been doing is I hand make all of our little bits of artwork myself, whether or not I gel plate them or whatnot. So today I'm just going to be using these excess bits of paint and adding them to a big sheet and I will cut them up and then make them into little thank you cards for my wonderful customers. All right, so I have used purple. I have used funky fuchsia. Now I'm going to pop in some bubblegum pink and I love that colour. Right, where we go, where's my dirty sponge? Still working with those same colour tones, so let's give it a whirl. Whoops, that's a lot. Getting it in there, dabbing that colour on. So these little uh, chipboard, cardboard, textured people come in male and female and they are really, really easy to use, as you can see. This pink is beautiful. ta -da. And I'm actually going to outline in black as well a little bit later. So now I'm just going to swipe that up and wipe that down on here. Waste not, want not. Kind of cleans off my sponge a little too. Okay, let's see where we're at. Let's add a little bit of um, I'm a bit hesitant on popping the red in. I might go with that. Hey, Lou, would you grab for me, please, the shimmer paints that are right behind you, actually, in the second little cubby hole, and grab the greens that I've got there, please? Green. Let's go with green. So that might go there. I'm just fluffing around just here about what order my, my colours go in. And because I'm thinking I can get four more colours here. One, two, three, four. But do I need a green? Look at me overthinking this like nothing else. 
Um, cut grass. Let's pop some cut grass in there too. All right. I might not even use it, but let's go. We have got here Calypso Teal. Now, I do need to change my sponge because I will get way too much pink in there. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So yes, taking inspiration from others is how we create amazing little pieces of artwork for your own journal. There is absolutely no, no shame. That's like I said, that's why we do these things. Take inspiration from others, grab those techniques and have a bit of a play with, play with um, what you've got at home to recreate and put your own spin on these things. Okay, so here we go. That blue's very nice. And I'm just going to take that, transfer that over to, oh, blast. It all dripped right down the side of my journal. Um, right, I'll come back to fix that later. Blue, blue. This is the new one. This is Vibrant Turquoise going on next. Oh. Wetting my sponge. I'm going to take him down just a little lower. They look like they have board shorts on. Aha! Good work, Catherine. That's kind of... The look I was going for. I wanted them dressed a little rather than naked. Good pick. A little bit too much paint in there. Just using a baby wipe to take that off. Rightio, and I'm going to take that little paint that I had on here, pop it there, spread it around. Okay, let's see what colour comes next. I might go with this one. This one is Polished Jade. I'm heading into the green tones now. And I can still use my dirty sponge. It's going to work just fine. Now, some of these Dilusions paints are a little thicker than others, okay? So don't be afraid to put them out on your mat and spread them out with your brush or your sponge. They have got different formulas in them. Um, I know that there was a couple of reds that were early release that were quite thick. Um, mine are also quite were quite thick, so all I did was... Put, put it onto my um, mat here and when I use them, I just spread them out like that. So it was a very common thing that came out. It's just got a slightly different formula to make those colors. Uh, so if yours at home, if you go, oh, you know what? I've got it, but it's thick and it's chunky. That's okay. It's not just yours. Everybody else has got a very similar sort of situation. I do believe there was like an orange that was quite thick and chunky as well. So... Um, they, you just need to spread it out a little bit on your palette before, before using it. Okay. Fear not. Rightio. Let's now go with, oh, I've got two colors here. I might pop some blue, oh, I'll pop some green in, some cut grass. So you can see that I'm, I'm quite, you know, saturating my, my sponge. He can come down here. Let's 
like so. And I'll tell you what, this um, the shimmer paint on in my craft on the craft pages just looks amazing. It is, it's got this gorgeous sheen to it, and I'm pretty sure it is showing up on camera, I think. Buff those out a little and I'm going to finish with the London blue so I like to, to quite often just have a big piece of paper handy that I can rub my paint into waste not want not make a little collage paper I can do something that way all right now we've got London blue which is possibly one of my favorites look at that and he's gonna go right here handed here because I'm working on the opposite side of my journal. Normally I just turn my journal around to do this bit but um, I'm just doing that and that's covered up that bit on the end that I had a bit of paint drop. And how good does he look? He's all shiny. You can see that shimmer. Love that. I'm going to pop him aside and my fingertips look sensational. Take that paint Rub that onto the rest of my board. Filling up any gaps. Using up that extra paint. Look at that. So you will get, with your order, a lovely little handmade thank you note from me uh, where I have popped a little bit of art down and I'll pop some stamping down. So this is this is yesterday's um, magicals that I was playing with, all the leftovers that I had. All right, so we make do, we, you know, mix that up as well. So I'm gonna take this off and drop this into a tub of water and the pink one, that's just about dry, but I'm just gonna blend that back. I'm gonna drop that into a tub of water as well fingers get rid of that okay so here is our here are our men lined up along here so yes they've got some board shorts on kind of love that uh how about we what i might do is i'm going to paint this guy i'm going to paint him a darker color so that he stands out so I have got some navy blue paint here. The color is called Night. And I'm going to use a paintbrush. And I'm going to go over that and I'm going to paint him navy, navy, dark navy blue. Quite generously. And then I'm going to pop him aside to dry. So I just want him to stand out from that shimmer because I'm going to tape him onto my page. That works for me. I'm going to pop him. So now he's completely covered. I'm going to pop him up there and I will have to dry him off with a heat gun. Uh, baby wipe. Okay. Hello D, hello Emma. Let's have a bit of a look here. Now I'm thinking that I want to, there's a couple of things I wanna do here. I'm gonna put some blue through here 
and I'm also going to add some gold to it as well. So first and foremost, I'm gonna use my palette knife. Now, it kind of will cover up some of this, but not all of it. No, palette knife is not the right tool. Palette brush. Okay, just one big brush stroke. And then I'm gonna pop some gold over the top in a moment. But before I do that, I'm just gonna dry it and I'm gonna outline my men. Happy days. Put that in some water. Wipe that up and dry it off. Good morning, Sandy Spink. How are you, my love? So that colour that I just popped on then, although it looks black, is actually the Dina Wakeley colour called Night. And that is a really easy... Instead of always putting black down to add depth, night is a beautiful colour to put down. Now I can, I'm now going to freehand just draw in here just to give him a bit of an outline. I could trace my, one of the other ones um, because there's a couple of the same design in the packs. But I'm just just doing it the easy way. I'm taking a couple of little liberties with his hips and his legs apparently. And his waistline. Oh, he's got a big foot there. You know what that means. You know, oh, big foot, big hands. That's what that means, Louise. Right, now this paint along here is dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm just using my black pen to do, do some scripty sort of words. They don't mean anything. They are just um, they are just lines and scribbles. I could be clever and write something fantastic, but I am. It's too early for clever and fantastic on a Sunday morning. So by doing this black pen mark, what's happening is it's tying in the black stars that I've also popped on is also giving my outlining a little bit of context and my black pen keeps dying because I'm going over all of these different surfaces but I'm going to commit to it. Right, happy with that. Now, my favourite gold paint in the entire world is this baby. We have it online. It is called Reeves Gold. It is the bomb. Have a look at this. This colour, where is my hand? Here we go. This colour is just beautiful. It is the nicest gold paint. That'll be there all day, and I'm going to leave it there to remind you how beautiful it is. See that shimmer? So what I want to do now is I'm going to pop some gold over this in a different paintbrush. Where are we? Here we go. 
This is where it comes in handy to own a million paintbrushes because half of them are sitting in water at the moment. So I've just got a paintbrush that is dry and it is about that wide. And I'm going to do a couple of layers of this beautiful gold over the top, which is going to tie in with the rest of this shimmer because this page is all about shimmer. The blue's still coming through underneath. Oh, I love it. Slightly thinner paintbrush. And that's an awful lot of paint sitting on here. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make a little gold splatter with it as well. So to do that, I've got some water on my brush and I'm going to make up a little puddle of gold like so and i'm going to finger tap a little gold on around not everywhere just in a couple of little spots so for those of you just tuning in welcome welcome to your sunday morning craft channel uh as part of the great australian online craft show we are doing some demos and some bits and pieces of sale on our website and today i am playing with the new dilution shimmer paints uh, recently released shimmer paints and there's four new colors I'm using a couple of them to here today um, so just going to give that a little bit more love through there and pop that aside now while that's drying I want to quickly show you how to use some of the foam tan the foam stamps from scrap effects these are brilliant 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 so what i'll do is i have got my my scrap bit of paper here which is dry and i use these are the foam stamps foam stamps are just gorgeous so easy to use um a great price point too so i get myself some washi tape that i don't have handy Sorry about that. Now I do. Um, but when you buy these foam stamps, they come on this plastic acrylic piece so that you can use it easy. My little trick for doing this is I take some washi tape and I make a little handle. So I go in, I put it down, I fold it back up, fold it back on itself and then stick it down again so that it creates this little handle that I can hold. Okay, it's a little clumsy, but it does work. You can make changes to it. <laughs> but this one's a little big for my big man hands, so I'm just going to pop another piece there. And now I have something that I can hold on to. So to use... To use these, uh, having a, a messy mat, having a, a palette handy will benefit you. Pop your paint on, spread it out. This is one way of using it. And then pop your stamp into it. And you can stamp onto here. Now, I am not looking for a perfect image here, and I know that I am not putting a huge amount of paint on, but I have got my shimmer background. I've now got this gorgeous gold paint. If you search, our, do a ser use the search bar on the website for gold paint, you will find this little guy. It's a really lovely light gold, and that is what I like about this. Okay, so, um, oh, thanks for the love, Naomi. I'm just read, reading Naomi's got some nice things to say. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pop some over here as well. So I'm just stamping, stamping, stamping. Take that, spread it out a bit more. But having this little handle 
just makes all the difference. Now, if you purchase a, um, a stamp that has like more than one on it, just like this one, you can actually get your scissors and just cut up there. So it does work really, really well for cutting. So you can make them whatever size you like. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my page here just to use up this gold paint. So just bear with me, chat amongst yourselves. Dun, dun, dun. Now, how do you clean these, these foam stamps? Um, I run them under some water uh, and give them a light finger rub to get the paint off. I don't scrub them too much because they are very delicate. Um, a baby wipe will work sufficiently. And I've got gold paint from ear to ear today. There we go. See how good that looks? It's effective. It makes a great wrapping paper. Done. So let's just wipe that off with a baby wipe. I'm just going to give it a gentle dab and leave it sitting on a wet baby wipe until I can take it to the sink and and give it a really good clean mess here clean off my catalyst tool how good does that look on the back of my hand so pretty all right let's get back to my art journal page how are we going for time fabulous here we go. See that gold splatter? So pretty. What happened to this guy? Is he still wet? Oh, he's still a little damp. Need to dry him off. So I could use now a, um, a black paint pen and write some words along my yellow brick road, perhaps. Um, yeah, Jackie, I, those stamps, I just run under hot water while they're wet to get those paints off, babe. That is it. That's all I do. But you do have to be gentle with them because they are delicate. Okay, there's our guy. I'm just going to... Oh, maybe I'll dry the rest of that. So for today, only being the last day of the show, we have got 15% uh, off of Scrap Effects products and 15% off of Paper Rose products, 15% off of 49 and Market products as well. So these lovely little chipboards that we are using here, um, this little guy that we used for a mask, that is something that you can get today at nataliemay.com.au at 15% off. And I've just got a, that's not a black Posca, that's a fluoro Posca. Let's try this one. I've got a paint pen. And I hope it's going to work. Let's give it a little test first. Let's test it over here. Fabulous. All right, Let e let's make something, let's make a sentence. Stand tall and own your, creativity. Grab some glue. Glue, glue, glue. I could use gel medium to stick him down, but I don't want to. So I'm going to use glue. I'm using the Art by Marlene sticky glue. Um, now, some of you have been sending me lovely little messages in regards to your Art by Marlene order. Um, some of you have pre-ordered the new Back to Nature release. We received a partial shipment on Friday. We will be receiving, hopefully, the rest of it early in the week. 
um, and we will be invoicing you when that arrives, okay? Um, at the moment, it we won't be invoicing until it, all of it comes in because we have got a few days of packing your orders to go. Um, so you can, you'll just have to be a little patient on that, but we'll try and get it all out to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, but yes, we have only received half of our delivery. Okay, so for those of you who have been watching all along, thank you so very much for joining me this morning on this lovely Sunday morning. Uh, as part of the online event, like I said, we have got 15% off of scrap effects products 15 percent off of paper rose products today and 49 and market products as well plus a great amount of show specials so take a moment to have a look through our show specials and also our mega clearance our mega clearance has got a lot of one-off products in there that are 30 percent off at least so you will definitely find something in there to suit you and your budget um stamps stencils paper anything christmas <laughs> um you will find all of those items in there you'll find heaps we've also got a a small amount of fundraising items yet uh, left we've got um, we're hoping to get to our $900 goal, so please have a look in the fundraising category and see how to um, and see if there's anything there that you need in your life. Oh, can we just take a moment? This is actually pretty great. I like it. Look at that shimmer paint. So the shimmer paint you will find under the dilutions category in the shimmer section. I am really happy with this. Totally inspired by. Claire and Neve, uh, whose work I have seen on Instagram, and uh, using the Scrap Effects, um, what are they called? Silhouettes. All right. So jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Um, I'm going to take a photograph of our finished product here. I will post it onto the page with a link to all of the products so you'll be able to find it very easily. So thank you very much for tuning in. I will be back at 1.30 to make another messy, messy, messy mess. And I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Thanks, guys.